how's it going? It's, uh, what day is it? It's Tuesday. Let's say it's Tuesday. Uh, I got a defense win, which is good. Um, I got only two kills, but it's because my opponent gave up. Uh, we have a dual Alphonse, uh, a Naga without a seal, a plus one Keda, a baby Keda, a plus one Altina, and a Layla, uh, also at plus one. Uh, here they kind of fucked up twice uh, because on turn one they do this whereas they should have had their Layla next to next to um, Duo Alphonse because she's the one who initiates her, so she will need her um, cooldown ready. They test my trap but they test it with Alphonse. Um, I don't really get why, especially because they don't have a healing tower. Now they get Layla in, and there's a swap, there's a switcheroo. Uh, I don't understand why she didn't get attacked back. Oh, okay, full cannot counter attack. That's cool. Uh, but there's a problem. Yes, you pulse smoked me. Um, but. You're debuffed, you're not debuffed, you're debuffed, but yeah, um, that one's dead, I get a dance off, I don't understand why I only get one, atta one attack off, I'm not sure how this works, uh, yeah, I'm not sure why I didn't attack twice, thanks to killing intent, I'm not sure why that happened. Yeah, I'm not sure why that is. But anyways, uh, Lolina jumps in, gets a kill. And here they just give up. So, yeah, uh, that happened. So, let's go for offense. We saw, you saw my teams yesterday, dead meme. Okay, can I tank this Lucina? I think I can. It's Vantage Lucina for some reason. I think I'm gonna go with baby Marth. Oh, there's a panic staff. That's gonna be annoying. Uh, oh, there's no hardy bearings though. But how would I reach here is a big question. I could just put Marth here since this is a wall and not give him any visible buffs. Like that sounds fine. What else do I have? I have this to stop dancers. Do I care enough? I don't think I do. I mean, I could stop these two. But what's it gonna do for me? Um, can I tank a Duma? Yes, I can. I believe I can. Reinhardt uh, against two dancers. It doesn't look very viable. Um, this has the issue of the staff. Yeah, I don't have a way to cleanly... like. I would have to kill this Duma, to test this trap, kill this Duma, then smite and kill this, but still uh, this spot would be, I would need to, I would need to deal with, eh, doesn't look, it doesn't look safe enough, it doesn't look safe enough. I mean, I could go here, get danced from here, I could get smited here, start here, get smited, get danced, um, after I kill the Doom, I could go here, kill the Nana. But then I'm not even in panic range. I'm not even in vantage range, so Tracer will double and kill me. So no, it's not worth doing. Uh, what about this one? How scared am I of Lucina? Um, I still think this is doable enough. This is safe enough. So, I send no visible buffs, and I want to give Dragon Effectiveness to Marth. So, um, and I can't really deal with the shrines, so I am just going to sit here, put you here, and you can safely break this. Uh, and you can go left, let's see. Oh, I forgot about the Duma damage. Ish. Oh, I don't even double? That sucks.
Okay, um, not very good. Do I kill? No, I do not. Uh, why am I debuffed? Is this? Wow, that's a level 7, level 7. Wow, those are some strong shrines. <clears throat> um, I could sit here. I could retreat by one spot. Would it work? Um, I don't know. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to try it because I don't see many other options. Like, I could... I could do this. And I can kill the Nana. Yeah, killing the Nana will help. Oh, fuck. I forgot about this. Why do I always forget about this? You're gonna double me. No, you're not. But you're gonna get danced, so no, I can't keep you in range. So this map is fucked. This map is essentially fucked. There is nothing I can do. Fucking close call. I always forget about close call. Ah, shit. Okay. Um, time to ladder, I guess. I should have probably gone with Sophia there. So, who else? Tier 21, Blues. Um, but there's no Panic. The Panic Man is over here, so I should be fine. Um, I could deal with these shrines. Is it worth it? I don't think so. There's another Nana. What's with the Nanas? What's with the freaking Nanas? You get hardy bearing, and this doesn't look okay. I think we're gonna have to do the same thing. Actually, this time I could be using this setup, and I think it's worth it because there is one legendary Zora who will um, kind of dick me around. There is no panic manner, so what do I want to give my guy? What do you give? Attack resistance link. Yeah, that sounds that sounds good enough. Do I have another way to deal with this? Can I do something like I can smite you here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is fine. Okay, so those two are isolated. I can do this and this, and then the Nana should be in. Do I care about putting you higher up? I don't think I do. I can put you back, leave you here, do this. Let's see. There's a rally trap, there's a panic. And they can't do anything else. Okay. So let's kill the Nana. Um, and now you're is you should be isolated again. Um, why are you not isolated? Man, the first you look like you're in cardinal directions. Why are you not isolated? Um, I don't get this. I don't really get this. Um, let me just put Marth over here then, and I should end the turn. I don't think I can tank this Nina. Okay, I get to tank the Azura. This is wonderful. Perfect, wonderful. And I am in range of my healing tower. So now I should work on my... Uh... Ah, once again I pull back. I should work on these uh, ether pots. And I don't know how to do this. There's a lot of rallies. Everybody's got rallies on this team. 17 dead. Um, I don't want to kill the Ophelia. Um, however, I don't know what I can do about it. 
think I might end up doubling it, doubling her and killing her. So am I okay with losing a pot this early? After losing a ladder? Huh. Let's see, 22, 28, yeah, and dead. All right, so I lost a pot, whatever. Whatever, uh, we'll play better as the week goes on. Uh, I just wanted to get this out of the way. Um, thank you guys for watching. I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Uh, so I've got a couple mock battles to do, and I will record them separately because I'm really pressed for time. Uh, first of all, we had Ghostin, who changed a bunch of names and is now Rain on Me in game. Uh, and he's changed his light defense. Uh, he's got a lot of red units, and uh, his Lucithia is plus zero, but she's plus attack, so she's very powerful. Um, he's got a Yoon, a Kemp, um, running a hybrid speed build with Lunge rather than Wind Sweep, which is interesting. Um, uh, Usually, Kempfi would have a hard time keeping him alive, but even at plus zero, uh, he's fine against me. And um, I wanted to showcase something, and that is the fact that um, my while my Bray Mike isn't really suited for this team, since there's a lot of red nukers, um, Fallen I can cover everything uh, that Brave Eye cannot. So just give me a second and I will show you. Um, first and foremost, we have this carrier. She's at plus zero, as is Lysithia. Um, you shouldn't really be um, too concerned with their merges, although there is one early kill that I am able to get very cleanly. And in this case, interestingly enough, uh, for some reason, the AI of Kyria just doesn't want to go left, and she only goes right, and therefore your team bottlenecks itself. Especially with Kempf. Uh, since Kempf is preventing me from counterattacking, this plays against you, because... Uh, let me show you really quickly. Uh, this is the team that I'm using. I don't ha really have many seals. Or anything. I'm just using Fallen Ike at plus one without bonus stats and no other bonus stuff, no other seals over here. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go in on turn two. Uh, I don't really care too much about Yago's effect. Um, uh, Ghostin is doing the common thing of not running vis vis visible buffs. So um, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be sitting here. And let me show you. I can end my turn. I can smite Ike. Put him here. I don't think... Uh, actually, I don't think I need to break this. I think I can leave it up. Um, so I will for now. And um, I have two choices here. I can leave, either leave air over here and move Peony over here or dance air out. I'm gonna move, um, I'm gonna move Peony to buff up Ike. This is lots of in-combat buffs, lots of out-of-combat visible buffs, which will be, um, which were uh, turned into debuffs by Panic Manor, and they will be doubled in my favor. So, here comes Lucithia. Here's a big special 36, and I do 3 damage above her H HP threshold, so I'm barely able to do fine. And unfortunately, the Skiria went like this. She didn't go down, she just went like this. And so, everybody is trying to go right, we have Xander uh, trying to go left, but now I'm able to do this. I'm able to hit, like this, I can bring up my Lucina, I have a wall protecting me, and I can deal with this camp. Um, what about this Yago you're gonna be saying? Well, he's red, so he tanks. Um, he should be a bonus unit, a tanky bonus unit, but his damage uh, or stats don't really affect me or my opponent, so um, don't worry about that too much. And also, bear in mind that I don't have seals. And I want to leave my units over here, actually. This is interesting, but I want to leave my units over here to try and bait Xander coming down. So, I'm not able to attack, 
Yuna attacks me twice, but she doesn't kill, and Kyria doesn't make it all the way over here, unfortunately. So now what I can do is I can clear my Yuun with my bonus unit. I am in range of my healing tower. Well, normally my healing tower would be over here, so things would be a bit different, I guess. Um, but I am able to melee the Kyria out of existence. I one-shot her with my special. I don't think that's necessary because I was going to do 15x2, so that was her full HP. But yeah, um, here I am at a point where... I can just deal with the enemy team. Uh, Lucina is gonna tank Xander next. I can go up, I can go up, and I can clear this. Uh, actually, I've got I've gotten both bots, so I can get out and Brave Ike should be able to kill this guy. Uh, or maybe not, maybe I should have kept... Uh, no, with the special, yeah, with the special I'm fine. Even without a special I was fine. Okay, so yeah, um, I don't understand why your Kyria went here, went to this spot. I don't get it. Was there like a team movement issue that that made her move late? Or I don't really understand what happened here. Um, perhaps you could use some assists to manipulate your AI to have some units go before others if that's not a team, a team order issue. So could you try that? and let me know um yeah that's the main thing sorry i'm very far from my microphone because i am forced to cook my pasta i was training my pasta uh but yeah i will i will run a couple more tests and let you know um so uh give me a moment just give me a moment and here is a secondary solution that i found that um, leverage is one more thing, one more issue, and that is the fact that your units really like destroying these breakable building things. So while your camp want to, wants to go further towards me, uh, towards me, uh, these buildings are just locking you down, wasting your moves. This is a similar issue to what I was having with my Lelina and Astra season. And there's one more problem. This camp's danger zone does not overlap with your nukers, and therefore it is possible once again, even on the left, to bait to bait them out, to bait those guys out. So um, I can do. I can even go in and turn one. I can do this. This is in range of Kyria and not in range of camp. So yeah, how's that? Um, and once again, with my Lucina in range. I'm able to snipe here. I get one more kill like that, and see, your Lucithia tried to break down a building rather than come for me. And now, what can I do? Well, I can go one step higher, I can break this, and I can sit here. I'm out of range of the camp once again, and I'm in range of these two who I will be able to kill. And Kempf has a target, so even though Kempf could want to go left, Kempf can break this trap, this um, this building thing, and so Kempf will waste his move. Here's one, we once again barely survive and kill back. In this case, I'm gonna be able to double and kill Xander. And here's this. Now, you're gonna say, how am I gonna tank this Kempf? Um, well, I'm gonna tank this fairly handily. <laughs> um, I can do a couple things here. I can... The main thing is, I can just hide and put my Lucina to tank Kempf. And I will be able to tank him in a position where I am healed by my healing tower. And I am also able to... Oh no, this is a mistake actually, I made a mistake. I did a boo-boo. I did a boo-boo, sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, this is a mistake, actually. Uh, I was supposed to do this differently. Um, yeah, sorry. Uh, let me redo this. As I eat some more gnocchi. Mm. Good pasta. Mm. Okay. So, the start is the same. One, two, three, four, five. And turn. That's that. That's the same thing. That's the same thing. Shove. 
sit here give me some more stats go over here campful still try to come to the right and here i can just retreat let um let yago tank and now there is going to be a little bit of a difference and that difference is going to be that i will be able to kill this camp with lucina plus um plus air i think oh no he killed me how he wasn't supposed to kill me um hold on i thought i was doing this fine and do i even need to bait the camp is a question i didn't try not baiting the camp let's see if there's any changes hmm oh yeah i forgot to do this Okay, now I can go up, dance this. Can you retreat? Is this something that I can do that does anything for me? Is Kemp still going to go right or is he gonna go left? I think he's gonna go left now. No, he's still going right. Okay, well in this case I have a much easier retreat then where I don't need to conserve my moves or anything like that. I mean, he's gonna catch up to me eventually, but I have a number of ways to deal with that guy. Okay, this is not the trap, that's good to know. I can do something like this. Mm. Uh, you can go here, I guess. You can go here. And once again, I can do something something where my Brave Ike is not in range of my Lucina if I wanted to survive the camp. But in this case, I can just... Oh, doesn't kill. Cool. Um, okay. Well, that doesn't kill, but this will. One and two. Yeah, so... It seems like your AI is far too intent on fighting your buildings than it is on fighting your opponent. Um, perhaps you would want uh, the other map that has a line that you can build like this. I can never remember the names. But this seems to be... Most problems seems to be, seem to be related to the map that you've chosen. Um, Xander is fine. And so is Sylvia. Sorry about chewing, but I'm hungry and I have no time to go. Um, yeah, could you try changing to a different terrain? And then uh, I could try this again. Because as of right now, a red tank... Yes, I'm using a power creeping red tank. But that's what you should expect to face at higher levels. I, don't, I wouldn't be tanking this with Brave Light because I see three red threats threats and one of them being something that will make my fighting harder but once again on both sides unfortunately you end up having um you end up having uh, squares where uh, your camp simply doesn't reach and that's gonna end up being a problem for you that's really gonna end up being a problem because your nukers as long as i have a tank that can bait him i can bait kill them safely uh, retreat or heal or keep going and bait your other units um i don't think that you want your map to be split in two because uh look at this this is almost as if your units were forced to split into two halves whereas mine are not because well there is this wall thingy but i could even sit here and bait the camp of course but um uh, well this spot wouldn't be safe because camp would be preventing me from counterattacking against the city the city would get tensed but um after the initial engagement the split of the map is playing more in my favor than in yours so yeah could you try and changing the terrain if you find anything that is close enough that you can use and then let me know um and I, will, I would be more than happy to try it again. Alright, so thank you and that's it.